Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, then welcome to my channel. And thank you so much for stopping by. So today, you guys, we are going to be talking about um, a fragrance that I picked up a few weeks ago. And we're just going to look, talk about what I think of it and how I stumbled across it. And yeah. So those of you who know me know I like to do blind buys. Um, I like to learn about different fragrances and I will just purchase it and order it online and let it come and then I'll smell it and see if I like it. Most of the time I will either watch people's videos where they talk about how it smells to them or I will go do some research myself and check out the notes. Or sometimes if somebody, if, if I just hear a perfume is really good, like over and over and over, I'll just purchase it and be like, all right, I'll see when it gets here. So I have been hearing about this one perfume for like, I don't know how long now, months and months. People online have been talking about it. Um, I have seen people talking about it in certain on certain websites like little blog sites and they all say um oh this perfume is so sweet it's so girly it's so beautiful and not only women like men so i was really interested like what like what's the hype with this perfume like everybody is making it seem like this perfume is so amazing the perfume that i'm talking about is called delina by perfumes de marley so it piqued my interest, it, you know, my, my curiosity. And I was just like, okay, it must be good. Like sometimes I'll be watching somebody's video and they'll be saying, oh, today I'm wearing Delina, da, da, da. and I'm just like, I keep hearing about this damn Delina. Like what's so special about it? So I was going to blind buy it. I went online and then when I looked, it was $320. <laughs> And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I, now, I will blind buy up to probably $100. I'm not blind buying no $320 bottle of perfume, right? Like, that's just insane to me. So I thought about it and I said, well, I'm pretty sure if it's this popular, there has to be a dupe for it. So I know of a company because I, um, I've ordered from a company called Alt before. And I was like, let me see if Alt has a dupe for this Delina that everybody is going crazy about. And sure enough, Alt had a dupe and it's called Duchess. But when I went on the website to order it, it was out of stock. And when it was out of stock, I was just like, okay, then it might be good since it's out of stock. So then I started reading the reviews of Duchess and the people in there was just saying like, um, when is it coming back? I've been waiting over a month. I want another bottle. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm just like, oh shit, this might, excuse my language. <laughs> but I was like, oh shoot, like this might be a good little perfume or whatever. So, and for, for the Duchess bottle, it was $49 for the 30 mil and $59 for the 60 mil. So I was like, Okay, that's not bad. Sixty like sixty bucks for it for the bottle. That's definitely a steal, even if I don't like it. Because the reason I was thinking I wasn't gonna like it was because people kept talking about how sweet it was and how girly it was. And when I think sweet, I think gourmand perfumes, like you know, sugary, vanilla, caramel, and all those type of things. And me personally, I like all kinds of perfumes. I love woods, I love spicy, I love oriental, I love floral, aquatics. And gourmand, but gourmand kind of happens to be my least favorite. Like, I don't really like to smell like sugar. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just not a vanilla girl, especially. Like, I don't, I don't really care for it. But I was just like, it's only $60. Let me give it a try. And then I'll, you know, if I don't like it, I can give it to a family member or a friend. So um, it was out of stock. I ended up signing up for the email notification list. So about a month later, they sent me an email telling me it was back in stock. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll order it, you know. And it slipped my mind for a couple of days. And when I went to go order it, it was right back out of stock. So I had to get back on the email notification list. And the next time they sent me the email, I immediately jumped on it and ordered it. And when it came, you guys, right? 
like I said, I was expecting like this gourmand, like this sugary perfume. Like I had it in my head that it was going to be a sugary perfume. And I was just going to review it for you guys anyway, because I was just curious because it was such a buzz about Delina. You guys, it came probably like three weeks ago when I opened the package, right? A smell just came out of the package, right? And I was just like, wait, that doesn't smell like sugar. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's not what I was expecting. So I pulled it out and I sprayed it on my wrist, right? Sprayed it on my wrist. And I promise you, like, for the next hour, I just kept. Like, I couldn't stop sniffing my wrist. That's how good it was. I could not stop sniffing my wrist. So then I was like, let me go find out what's the notes in this perfume. So let me tell you what are the notes in Duchess, you guys. The top notes are bergamot, nutmeg, rhubarb, and lychee. The middle notes are Turkish rose, vetiver, incense, and cedarwood. And the base notes are vanilla, cashmere, and musk. So let me tell you why I fell in love with it. I love the smell of lychee. And I love rhubarb. My favorite pie is strawberry rhubarb pie. Like, I love that tangy smell, that fruity smell. And lychee, oh, God, I don't know. If if you haven't smelled lychee, you, you, you got to smell lychee in a perfume. Lychee just kind of, it's a game changer in a perfume. So you guys, after that night, right, later on that night, after I had been sniffing and sniffing and sniffing, the first thing I thought in my head, right, I was like, I got to go get another bottle before they go out of stock. And I literally ordered a second bottle that night. So this is how the bottle looks, right? Oh, God, you guys can't see that, the light. The bottles are really plain at all. I wish they would kind of step their game up, but whatever. It's just a pink bottle and it says Duchess on it. But it's not completely, I, I have not used that much in three weeks. I um, ended up putting it in my um, atomizer. But usually when I like a perfume, and there have been some perfumes that I have loved, when I like it, I'll wear it for like two, three days in a row and then I'll switch out and wear something else. I have worn this perfume every single day for the last three weeks like every day you guys and what's so crazy let me just spray some oh, oh i love it okay what's so crazy about it is that it gives me so many compliments like the second day that i had um that i got it i was wearing it and i was um expecting some furniture to be delivered and so the UPS guys came. It was two guys because they were delivering a chair. And they, um, they're they carrying the chair up to my place. And they bring the chair in. And they both just look at me. And I automatically knew because the way they just kind of stopped and looked. Because the perfume just smells so freaking bomb. One of them was like, you smell so good. And the other one was like, bruh, I was just thinking that. And I just was sitting there like... <laughs> I didn't say it like that, but you know, I was just like, because I knew by the way they looked at that they could smell it. And they were like, you know, like, what is that smell? And I've been telling you everywhere I go, I don't care if it's the post office, the grocery store, the mall. There is not a day that goes by that I'm wearing this perfume that somebody does not say to me, you smell really good. What is that? You guys? <sighs> It's so good. It's so, it's so good. I can't even explain like this perfume. The one word that comes to mind when I think about this perfume is yummy. It's just yummy. It's so yummy. And so now that I'm trying the alt version, I'm like, now I am not the person who will go out and spend 300 and something dollars on a perfume. Like that's just not me. Cause I've always been like, okay, it's not that serious. But I am very curious about, um, I've been thinking about maybe buying a, like a little $20 sample of Delina to compare the two because I'm like, this smells so good. I just really don't think that it can get any better. But you know how some people be like, well, it smells like 90% and they'd be like, but it's not exactly, you know. So this really has me thinking about purchasing some Delina because oh my god you guys I cannot explain it I'm telling you 
that lychee, that rhubarb, that bergamot, and then the rose. And you can smell the incense. Like everything just blends so nicely. This is a really, really nice and I feel like well thought out perfume. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. I'm so hooked. And another thing, too, is so crazy, right? I told you that when I first bought it, you could smell it coming out of the um out of the package. Every time I walk into this room, because I keep my perfume in this in the filming room in here where I film, the whole room is just enveloped in the smell of Duchess. Like when I walk in this room, you just smell Duchess. And I'm just like, oh my God, it's, it's so strong. Not in a bad way though, in a really good way. It's so, it projects. And I'm just like, dang, I'm like, I guess some got on the bottle or something, but like it sits on the shelf. And when I walk in this room, I swear, I just smell Duchess. I had to, I had to make a video about this, you guys, because <laughs> It's yummy. It's so yummy. I'm not even being extra. But if you don't like um like lychee or rhubarb or you know Turkish rose or it, and the incense, the incense is not overpowering. But, okay, you know what it reminds me of? I think this is why I like it too. I like perfumes from like um the United Arab Emirates, perfumes from Dubai. I like those type of oils, those Middle Eastern oils and those type of perfumes because they they are really they they really know how to blend it and make it really pretty and really you know, like just good. So this reminds me of one of those and it's just so yummy, you guys. I had to come and let you know like I'm like, "Damn, did I just find my signature scent?" Like it's so good. It's so good, you guys. I just wanted to come to you guys and just tell you how I feel about this. And like I said, it is from Alt Fragrances. And um, it's only $49 for the 30 mil, but you can get the 60 mil for 50, $59. So it's like, why not just spend the extra $10 to get double the price? So yeah, you guys. And I know I do not get paid for this. I don't have no code, nothing like that. I'm just telling you that I found a bomb perfume because I showed you guys a few videos not too long ago with, you know, some perfumes that I had picked up. But so far, this is um this is the one. This this is definitely the one. So yeah, you guys. I am so glad to be back. I know I haven't filmed in a long time. I'm gonna do a life update to just check y'all in on why I had to take a break from filming. But your girl is back and I will be coming. Oh also too, I ordered another um alternative to um to Delina to try from a different company. I'll bring that in another video, but actually I ordered a few from that company. So we're going to try them out together. They came in the mail. I haven't opened them yet. I'm really curious. I know you guys will enjoy it. So I'll be back with that. I'll be back with my life update video. And yeah, I love you guys. I missed you guys and your girl is back. <laughs> and I'll see you soon in another video. Take care. Bye.